to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that is our prayer that indeed our God is faithful our God has been very faithful to us our God has helped us to be able to come to the end of these 21 days of prayer I want to invite us all of us this very special day that the Lord has made and I want to ask that we feel like we are in the place where the God wants us to be and be very expectant of him this day. He has walked together with us for the last 21 days. We have seen his faithfulness and I believe each and every one of us has a testimony of how God has been able to visit us in a very special way. Nina wingu wa matumaini ya kwamba kila moja wetu ana shuhuda kemkem ya jinsi ambavyo Mwenyezi Mungu amekuwa pamoja nasi na ibada hii itakuwa ni ibada ya kutoa shukran kwa vile Mwenyezi Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu na kama vile ambavyo tumeimba kwa huo wimbo ni kwamba anastahili ndani ya maisha yetu anastahili ndani ya kanisa letu anastahili kwa familia zetu anastahili hata kwa taifa letu kwa ujumla na na wingo matumaini kwamba wakati tunapoendelea na ibada hii tutaweza kuhisi uwepo wake ukiwa pamoja nasi na napenda ku kuwakaribisheni wale ambao wanatutazama kwa vyombo vya kijamii Facebook and uh, YouTube I want to invite you to this very special service of thanksgiving of how God has been faithful to us how he has granted us the grace it has been a grueling time of visitation we have felt the presence of God being together with us. And I mean no doubt that God walked together with us and he has enabled us to come at this particular. I want to invite you on behalf of our vicar, the Reverend Maurice Zameda, who is not together with us, but I know he is watching back at home. Thanks up Mchungaji for being there for us. And we know that your blessings are with us this day that the Lord has made. Shall we go before the Lord in prayer? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we come before thy presence this day. We want to thank you for your protection. We want to thank you for the anointing and the grace that you accorded to each and every one of us. And now, Heavenly Father, even as we start this service, we invite the Holy Spirit of God to come and take residence in this sanctuary but more so into our hearts. And how we pray, Heavenly Father, even as we seek your praise through your presence, through praises and worship and prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray that we will not leave this place as we came in. We ask that you start together with us this service and go forth together with us until we come to the end. We want to come against any wiles and persuasions of the evil one. We want to render them powerless, defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we silence all voices that will come to hinder our praise and worship. And we pray that our praise and worship will be a sweet-smelling aroma that will come up to you 
and you in turn will be able to send down your blessings to each and every one of us. And it's in that mighty and holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ we do pray, believing and trusting. May we give thanks to our Lord. Are you ready to worship him this day? I want to invite the praise and worship team to take us through this praise and worship session. Praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. May the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. I know we've come here with a, a celebratory mood. Uh, thanking God for uh, the far he has brought us through the uh, fasting season. I know we are expectant. Aren't we? Yes. Are we expectant? Can you just turn to your neighbor and ask them, are you expectant of the Lord? Are you expectant of the Lord this evening? Are you expectant? Uh, the word of the Lord tells us that um, those who have been waiting on the Lord will not grow weary. In fact, he says that he going to, uh, they are going to mount up like eagles. So right now, as we are still in the process of waiting on the Lord for the answers and all that, this is the time when the enemy actually takes advantage. Actually, the prayer is not over. It might seem that we might have uh, finished the fast and all that, but actually, this is the point where you now you you're supposed to be actually even more vibrant in your prayer because the enemy takes advantage when we stop praying. So we are supposed to keep on praying. Amen? Amen? We want to enter into a time of praise and worship and just giving thanks to the Lord for the far he has brought us and how he has been with us, how he has worked with us uh, for the last 21 days. Let just prepare your hearts and let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father, he will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, never ever. Let me hear you say. My father will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, never ever fail. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father who will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, never ever fail me. A father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father who will never ever fail me. No COVID is never ever fail me. I have a father. Come on, sing together. Jesus. 
Are you grateful before the Lord? Lift your voice and say, Declare how grateful you are before the Lord. One more time. Oh Lord, oh Lord.
kwamba imara Nijo na bahari ulizo ni bukisha Nihaseke na kwamba Nita sahau Mamonde Mamonde Nijo na bahari ulizo ni bukisha Nita sahau Mimi Kama siyo wewe yesu Ninge kuwa wapi mimi Kama siya mkono wako Adui wange ni mwaliza Ukani yona mimi Kwa macho yako ya rehema Ukani kongowa Kwa mkono wako wanye mungu Na mini sinye ni kasahau Bali ni kwa uwezo wako Sita sahau Sita sahau We maulio ni kidea Mabone Na mili maulio ni kwanisha Ito na mari Uzo ni kukisha Sita sahau Mimi Sita sahau We maulio ni kidea Mabone Na mili maulio ni kwanisha Ito na bahari ulizo ni bukisha Sita sahau Sita sahau Mwani peleka mbali sana Umeni toa mbali sana Na mwani peleka mbali sana Umeni toa mbali sana Na mwani peleka mbali sana Umeni toa mbali sana All over the building Mwani peleka mbali sana Wanipeleka mbali sana Mbali sana, mbali sana Wanitoa mbali sana Nami Sita sahau Sita sahau We mauli onitendea All over the building, come on, declare this song Nami li mauli onipandisha Mito Na bahari ulizo ni bukisha All over the building, declare this song Sita sahau Sita sahau We maulio ni tendea Mabonde Na mili maulio ni pandisha Mito Na bahari ulizo ni bukisha Sita sahau Mimi If I were you I would start clapping to the Lord I would start praising the Lord I will start praising the Lord if I were you. You will not forget where the Lord has taken you. You cannot forget where the Lord has brought you from. Sita sahau pali mungu umetutoa. Sita sahau. Mimi. Sita sahau. Sita sahau yote. Kwa umenilenea mungu. All over the building, declare this song in your heart. Sita sahau, mimi kwa mara ya mwisho. Sita sahau, without the music. We mauli oni tendea, mabone na mimi mauli oni panisha. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We glorify you.
glorify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We won't forget, Lord, where you have brought us from, Lord. We won't forget. Do not remain silent into his presence. Say something. You know exactly where the Lord has brought you from. Just say something from your heart. Declare it to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. We lift your name on high. 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 a good chance to say something to the Lord. We lift your name on high, Jehovah God. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. We bless you. We bless you. an item before the Lord this evening. Present an item. Present an item. We bless your name, Lord. He just needs a light to interfere the house. Presence is more than enough for oh God. Being in your presence, oh God, is more than we have asked for, oh God. We thank you, Lord. Thanking you, Holy Spirit. Thanking you, Lord. It is awesome, Baba, in your presence. It is awesome, oh God. An awesome feeling, Lord God Almighty, in your presence, Abba Father. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. And that is why, oh God, we surrender before you, Lord. Surrendering all before you, King of Kings. And declaring, oh God, as you have, as Moses said in Exodus 33, 15, and 16. That without your presence, O oh God, we will not go ahead. Without your presence, O oh God, we will not go forth. We desire your presence more than anything, Jehovah God. We bless your name, O oh God. 
We bless your name, O God. We bless your name, my God. We bless your name, my King. Who is like you, Lord? We are amazed in your presence, O God. We are filled with joy in your presence, my Father. We are filled with gladness in our hearts, O God, in your presence. Oh, who is like you, Lord? 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 Ya 
surrender everything my God even as we thank you Lord for the grace that you've given us Lord to go through the 21 days of prayer and fasting without you Father we know we would not have made it Abba Father and so God Almighty even going forward we are asking Lord that you reign Lord reign 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 King of Kings Reign, Lord, continue to walk with us, our Father. Let nothing, oh God, put us asunder, oh Jehovah. Let nothing, my God and my master, come between us and you, Jehovah. Because you know where you're taking us, oh God, is a good place. We know, God Almighty, with you we shall win. You are the one that calls us more than conquerors. And so this evening we declare, we decree that we are more than conquerors in you. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. With you there is victory, O oh God. With you there is all that we need, Jehovah Father. And so, Father, we are bowed down before you this evening. And asking, Lord, It is all about you, Lord. Nothing about us, O oh Jehovah. We lay down every crown. Every crown of God that exalts itself above your knowledge in us, O oh God. We pull down every spirit in us that would exalt itself above your knowledge, O oh God. And we ask King of Kings, have your way, have your way, Baba. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, my master, have your way. And that is our declaration this evening, Lord. We just want to be where you are. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We see all the praise, Lord. We see all the glory. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen. 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 Shall we give our Lord a hand clap? We want to thank the praise and worship team. Louder. Louder for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He has been very faithful to us. Thank you very much. May we have our seats. May we have our blessed seats. And this moment, just like we had announced last Wednesday, we want to give it to two or three people who have testimonies to just come and share with us. I know these 21 days have been 
today, days that uh, our God has made a special visitation upon each and every one of us. And I mean, no doubt we have people out there with testimonies of how God has been faithful to them. And remember that uh, we were doing these 21 days as a preparation for the restoration that we are expectant of even in this church. So I want to invite two or three of us who have testimonies to come in front so that uh, we, can, we can be able to hear them. Ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwalika wawili watatu ambao wana ushuhuda ili waweze kuja kuwasilisha kama njia ya kutoa shukran kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa vile ambavyo ametembea pamoja nasi takriban siku 21 na kweli tuna ushuhuda kwamba amekuwa mwema ametuneemesha na ndipo tunakuja mbele zake bila uoga na ni kwa hiari kwa vile ambavyo Mwenyezi Mungu amekuwa pamoja nasi kwa hivyo ningependa kualika wawili uh, ili waweze kuja asanti uh, dada Komtasari tu. Praise God Church. God is good and all the time. I want to thank God so much for his faithfulness. I know he has done a lot. I cannot say all of it. But I'll just share one recent one that happened. Uh, so last year during the pandemic a lot of things happened and also my workplace was affected so for like the a better part of last year i was not working so i had some house areas and it reached a point where by now the owner uh, decided to take the the case kwa chief and i really did not want it to reach there but it reached there I didn't find favor with the chief that day. So the chief alinipatia deadline ya 2nd February, which is yesterday. Yes, so yesterday was 2nd February. And so that was early January. So uh, during that whole time, there's a way to God that I was sustained. I was able to get new clothes. Yani kuendelea tu na maisha. So I reached a place, I said, hey God, I know you're able to make all things new. So if maybe this is another way of you giving me other things, I'm ready to, to let them go. So I just prayed about it and I let it go. So um, it was, I think, on 22nd of January, I just received a call from someone I didn't expect. You know those people you don't really expect to be able to help you? They just came up, hey, by the way, there's something I wanted to send you. So they just sent me the money and I was able to clear and I got everything of mine. So I just thank God. So my testimony is that God is faithful. There's just one time I told him, hey God, you have given us a theme of restoration this year. And how come I'm about to lose everything I have? But if this is your word, let it be real in my life. And God has done it. I'm so grateful. God is faithful. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, my sister. Indeed, God is faithful. Tunatumikia mungu ambaye hashindui. Bona is sifa. Hallelujah. Wapendoa. Glory be to God. Nikipenda kualika mwingine mmoja. Sabu mnaona kidogo mda unatupa kisogo. Komtasari, tafadhali, in a summary form, Jen, kindly. Praise God. Hallelujah. Last year, at a time like this, we, as a family, did not know that at the end of, by the end of this month, of that month of February last year, mom, mother, my mother would be sick in hospital. Neiliazatuki mchezo mchezo, and when we took her to hospital, she was admitted. And she ended up staying there for one month. And during that one month, I tell you, it was terrible. Be 
business inaendelea business i'm sorry to say this lakini akakuwa na maugonjwa mingi she was not able to come off oxygen na mtu alikuwa ametembea akienda husi she, ha, she they said she had diabetes she had so many things and most times i would go there and cry to god because i'd sometimes napata kama ana cheesy anapigana na watu you know amefungwa it was a bad time and one day i just told the doctors that my mom is going home and nikaambiwa ni sign form nyingine hapo ya kuchukua responsibility should anything happen to her because they said that she would not survive a day without oxygen na hiyo oxygen kumbuka ni 3500 per hour it was a terrible time na sasa nilikuwa na sign hiyo barua nilikuwa naambia god god actually you see let down if i've taken this step of faith when everybody else has said we wacha mama kae hapo do not let me down so we came home akikoa tu kwa oxygen and within two days she was off oxygen within two days ile kuchizi alikuwa na chizi chizi was all gone because the medicine to reduce the medicine hapa tu kwa nyumba tukasema hii inamfanya siyo asikiaje i just looked at them nikasema hizi hakunywi hii atakunywa hii hakunywi and when i look at her she came today to see me and i'm looking at her and i'm saying god this is a miracle she's walking she's staying on her own hataki msifanye kazi by the way she's cooking her own food someone that was losing her mind and i really thank god for this miracle by mom's life when we were beginning this fast 21 days ago i was wondering whether i would make it in fact when ashindwa kama mimi ni mkristo ama niko tu na jina ya kikristo because i was hata siku moja ku fast me who had fasted was used to fast was used to fasting to uh, about 30 days siku moja and i was telling god aki god yenye i want I really want to fast this one i want to pray i want to be there i want to rejoice with the others when the 21st day comes and i say god wewe umenifanya grace yako imetosha by god and i'm here to say yes it has not been perfect but god has made it possible and i give him all the glory amen 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 indeed the god that we serve there is nothing that is impossible with him and i'm reminded of a song that we sing mataifa yote yanamfahamu kuwa yeye ni mungu usiyeshindwa 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 wewe ni mungu usiyeshindwa 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 wewe ni mungu usiyeshindwa usiye That's our testimony indeed that the God that we serve there is nothing that is impossible with us. I know I have I will not be able to bring all of us here for testimonies but I I mean no doubt we have big big testimony. And the biggest that we have is of our mchungaji. And I allow me not to remove the cat out of the bag. I would want him himself to come and give us the testimony that indeed the God that we serve there is nothing impossible with him. And now I want to invite our mom Lerida Pamela to lead us in a session of just giving thanks to God 
of how faithful he has been together with us. And I want to invite us to stand for the next 10 minutes. Just she will lead us through just to thank God. Kushkuru Mungu kwa vile ambavyo amekuwa mwaminifu kwetu. Kwa vile ambavyo ameleta urejesho, kwa vile ambavyo ametuinua kutoka ngazi moja ya kiroho hadi nyingine. Karibu mama. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. As we began, one of us said we are celebrating and indeed we are celebrating and we we are celebrating. If there's something that I'm sure each one of us says has happened or what God has done for us, it is the grace he has given us to go through the 21 days. Isn't it? Let's give him a clap of our Amen. 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 I've been in this church for I think over 20 years. But something like this has never happened. Where we have come together as a congregation in a time of prayer and fasting. And therefore, we are very, very grateful because of God's grace. As believers, we come to God because we believe in who he is and what he says he will do. We know God is eternal. So, we know that God is sovereign. Nobody can defeat his purposes. We know that God is faithful and we continue to testify of his faithfulness. We know God has loved us with an everlasting love. Yes. We know God is caring. And when I'm lacking a job and I don't have food, God will work his own ways because he cares for me. God is concerned about every detail of my life. And he'll accomplish that which has begun in us and through us. Praise the Lord. And therefore, we have come to God. We have made a lot of petitions, prayers to God because we trusted in who God is and what he says he's able to do. And that is the faith that we have. But let's hear what James is saying. So that we don't just assume that what we have done when something comes around to distract us, we think God is not answering prayers. James chapter 1 verse 6 says, But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt. Because who, who he doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and stable in all he does. We must believe. Circumstances will come to distract us and to discourage us. But we know that our God is faithful. Hear what he says in 1 Peter 3 verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. Amen. Amen. And the word of God is established eternally. God is not a man that he should lie. So brethren, we have committed several things to the Lord in prayer. His timing is not our timing. But just the way the singer said, I know not why God's grace has been made to me. Many things the singer doesn't understand, but he is persuaded that God is able. So we will stand on God's word and God's character. And that's why this moment we come before the Lord just to thank him. We thank him. His ear has been attentive to the prayers. As we have made our personal prayers concerning our own spiritual growth, our own economical restoration, our physical restoration, our social, uh, social restoration, as we are praying to God, deliverance of our families and made de declaration concerning our children. As we have said concerning our nation, the healing of our nation and even the healing the nation economically. We want to believe that the ear of the Lord has been attentive to our prayer. 
So we are coming before the Lord. Just come before the Lord this moment and just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank the Lord. Thank him. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord because he has done it, his grace upon your life. Thank the Lord because he has been good unto you. Thank the Lord because he has given you that opportunity to be able to participate in a time of prayer and fasting. Thank the Lord because he has given you his word to strengthen you through the season of fasting. Thank the Lord because he has guided you by your, his Holy Spirit throughout this season. It has not been by your strength. It has not been your power. But it has taken the hand of the Lord. Thank the Lord because the Holy Spirit continues to intercede for us. Even those prayers that we have not offered. The Holy Spirit of the Lord who knows the will and the purpose of the Lord continues to intercede for us. Thank the Lord because of our high priest Jesus Christ who is seated at his right hand and continues to intercede for us forevermore. Just worship the Lord. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you, our Father and our God. There's none like you, Jehovah. There's none like you, our Father and our God. You are faithful to hear the prayers and the cries of your people, dear Lord. Thank you, my Father. You have sustained me through this season of fasting. You have given me your grace, O Jehovah Lord, to go through the season of fasting. You have given me your grace, O Jehovah Lord, to come here every Wednesday, dear Lord. Thank you, Jehovah Mighty, because of the promises that you have made concerning my children, O dear Lord. Thank you, Jehovah, for those declarations I have made, O Jehovah Lord, because, Father, you are answering, you are fulfilling, O Jehovah Lord. You are coming through for a nation, O dear Father. We give you glory. We give you worship, O Father. We give you adoration, O God. Because you are God, you are not a man that you should lie, dear Father. Lord, as we have sought you, Jehovah Lord, we know, my Father, that you are not going to leave us, O God. That, Lord, you are going to continue to be with us, O loving Father. That, Lord, you are going to work on each one of us, O Jehovah Lord. And just restore us, O my Father. You are going to restore us, O King Jesus. You are going to restore us, O Jehovah, to the place where you want us to be, dear Lord. And for this, Abba Father, we are so living God. We are so joyful this day. We are so thankful this day. As we reflect on your great works, O Jehovah Lord, as we reflect on your goodness upon us, our Father and our God, as we reflect on your faithfulness, O Jehovah Lord, as we reflect on your power, Jehovah Mighty, we are so grateful. We are coming to your presence this evening with a lot of thanksgiving, O Jehovah Mighty. See how you have been gracious unto us, O Jehovah Lord. The 21 days, O Jehovah, you have carried us through. You have given us the grace always to come here 
every Wednesday, dear Master. Oh Lord, we bless you. Father, we glorify your holy name, oh God. We thank you, Jehovah Lord, because you are faithful. We worship your Father and our God because your word is firmly established, oh Jehovah Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Mighty, because your promises are yes and amen, oh dear Lord. We thank you, our Father, because you are sovereign King of kings and Lord of lords. Daddy, you are not a man that you should lie, Heavenly Father. You told us to seek you, Jehovah Master. You told us through your servant that you are restoring us this year, dear Lord. And we thank you for the restoration work that you have begun, oh dear Lord. Even the testimonies that we have heard and even those that we are going to hear, dear Lord. We thank you, Jehovah, because you are going to restore our relationship. We thank you, our Father, because you are going to restore our marriages. We thank you because you are going to restore our children, oh Jehovah Lord. Emotionally, you are going to restore, restore our children and make them stable, oh Jehovah Lord, even in school or colleges, oh dear Lord. You are going to guide them by your Holy Spirit, oh Jehovah Master. You are going to instruct our children in the ways of the Lord mighty God, that they may not part away from them, oh dear Lord. You are going to make us parents faithful, oh Jehovah Lord, and intentional to bring our children up in the fear of the Lord. Lord, oh dear Father, we thank you, Jehovah, because you are going to make us faithful in the place of prayer. We thank you, our Father, because you are going to make us faithful in the reading of the word. We thank you, our Father, because you are going to make our desires align to your will, Lord, oh dear Lord. We thank you, my Father, because you are going to subdue anything in our life that is not of you, Heavenly Father, that you are going to do that transformation on our lives, oh dear Lord. We thank you, Abba Father, because you are going to unite us as St. Philip's family, dear Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are going to lift us from strength to strength. Every department in this place, O Jehovah Lord, shall live according to the objective, O Jehovah Lord, to propagate the agenda of the Most High God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because of the great things you are going to do in the diocese, O dear Lord. We thank you, my Father, for the way you are going to heal our nation, O dear Father. The situation politically may be dictating something different but Lord you are sovereign Lord you are sovereign and Lord you are going to do it Lord you are going to do it you are going to grant us peace oh dear Lord it's not in vain Jehovah that we have sought you and we want to thank you our father even for your word that you have reminded us this evening that your ear is attentive to the prayer of the righteous oh dear Lord thank you Jehovah mighty because through the 21 days your ear has been attentive to our prayers. We worship you, Abba Father. We glorify your holy name, O dear Lord. Make us steadfast, O Jehovah Lord, that according to the word we shall not doubt. We shall not doubt, Abba Father. The whispers of the enemy, we come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. We are trusting in the almighty God. We are trusting in the faithful God and we are overcomers because our Lord Jesus Christ overcame and he seated at the right hand of the Father, living to intercede for us forever and evermore. Therefore, we are not those who draw back, but we are going forward in the power and the strength of the Holy Spirit with the grace that you are pouring upon each one of us every day of our life. And Jehovah, we know that surely your goodness and mercy shall fool us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Another round of applause just to give thanks to our Lord. Hallelujah. Our God has been very faithful to us. A round of applause just to give thanks to our Lord. Amen. Asante Mungu. Umetutendea mema. Umeleta urejesho kwa familia zetu. Umeleta urejesho kwa kanisa letu. Umeleta urejesho ndani ya watoto wetu. Umeleta urejesho katika mambo yetu yote. Sababu wei ni Mungu muaminifu. Pokea sifa, pokea utokofu. Amen. 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 Sifa kwa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Thank you very much uh, mom and sister uh, for leading us in that session of Thanksgiving.
And now it's that time that we have been longing for. And now we need to worship our God with our giving. And I invite the praise and worship team to wait for us. Remember the 21 days you are going away, you're not doing any lunches. So that 100 shillings, 200, 500 shillings, can you deposit it as a seed? And for those who are watching us on Facebook and uh, YouTube, our pay bill number is 734618. You can also stand with us as a seed that indeed that restoration will come alive. Read Isaiah 58 as an encouragement to us this day. We continue in the mood of thanksgiving. some announcements. Uh, we were told by our vicar that uh, next Wednesday we have a very special guest, one of us, who will be coming to do some teaching. I don't know if you can remember. I can see some of us nodding our heads. We'll be having the Reverend Michael Kuria coming to teach us on uh, Wednesday. That will be on the 10th of Wednesday, and then the 17th on Wednesday, of Wednesday, that's next Wednesday, but one will be the Lent Wednesday. We'll be starting off the 40 days of Lent. I know now, kila moja wetu sasa anaweza kufunga. Sasa tutakuwa na siku arubaine, na najua mungu watatushushie yo neema, ya kweza kufunga hizo siku arubaine, na ndio yo Changamoto zile sugu ambazo zijatoka miaka nena meka rudi tunajua zitaweza na news is that mchungaji will have already come back and 
just like he said it can only be better si ndio wapendwa asanteni sana mzee kabiru come in and so that you can bless aita basi na tuamini na tuweze kuomba our father and our god you who never tires to hear from your children we are back again at your feet thanking you lord for your faithfulness for the way that lord you have walked with us for those days as you have promised you who has no beginning or end just delights when you see your children doing the things by trusting you we want therefore to thank you that this far that lord you have brought us you really are ebenezer and now lord in our midst there are those that are still trusting you for jobs even for their businesses There are those who are trusting you Lord for relationships some wish to have husbands others wives others Lord are trusting you for the salvation of their loved ones maybe parents or siblings There are those who are trusting you O oh God for things that they cannot even share publicly those things that they have told you in the closet of their lives some have conditions that have they have not shared with anybody physically there are those who are struggling with the issues like pornography there are those lord who are struggling with the issues of even theft things that are not shared publicly lord even as we bring them all to you We want to believe that there will be testimonies self testimonies if they cannot be shared publicly There are those who are trusting you Lord because of their relatives who are suffering in one way or the other There are those Lord who are trusting you like what we have heard in the two testimonies of Schneider and Jane father we thank you because you are proving to those doubting thomases that you still can do it you still are able we want to thank you lord so so much for our vicar who walks out of a mangled wreck and is caved when we see and hear of shadrach meshach and abednego walking out of that furnace even without the smell of smoke we see the vicar in that kind of a situation We thank you and we honor you. And now Lord, as a church, you who have told us where two three gather whatever 
they purpose to bind or to loose. Lord, you'll be there. You'll come forth and fulfill it for them. We want to commit our country in its entirety. We are, Lord, asking you to send your guardian angels in all the borders of this nation that where we could be experiencing any insecurity, Lord, you'll be there. We are committing our county in Nairobi where there are leadership gaps that, Lord, you are going to fill them in a divine manner. And, Father, even now, as we go back to our abodes, we pray that, Lord, you'll go forward ahead of us. you remain behind. You'll be at our sides, above and below. But most importantly, that, Lord, you may take the thrones of our hearts. Even the night that is ahead of us, we pray that, Lord, we shall experience the most peaceful of those nights where we have not had peace, particularly when we rest on our beds. We pray that, Lord, you will grant. Father, you tell us in Ephesians 3.20, that you are the God who does more and exceedingly above what we have asked for or even imagined. And this is now our portion that, Lord, you will grant. And now, Father, we pray that you will continue to shine upon us you will continue to be the awesome God that we believe you are for we believe you have heard us and even for whatever else that Lord you want to grant us we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus name and even, Lord, whatever has been brought as an offer tree by your people, may you bless it that it is going to be of use. It is going to bring honor and glory to your work in this parish and beyond. And whatever arm that has been stretched out into this basket, May you, Lord, as you have promised, bless it double fold. This we pray in Jesus' name, even as we say, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And surely. God bless you.